What's good? It's King Hassani Reacts. Don't forget to like, comment, and what? Subscribe. A rush we get left, but huh? And also turn on post notifications so you know every time I drop a new video, a new what? Banger video. But anyways, man, I'm finna react to 15 most powerful African um animals in the world. So without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. Let's go. Anyways, man, let's get it on. We know that some animals are naturally strong, born to hunt, chase, and Mad loud. If necessary, hey. kill. These characters show phenomenal strength. In a fist fight, most could easily overpower a human. Others of course. Can cause significant harm. <laughs> These guys are not only feared, they are admired. From the largest primate. Yo, bro, I will be definitely scared. Like, bro, obviously you would be scared. Bro, look how big they look how big they are. And dangerous they are, bro. Come on, bro. Obviously. To an animal considered to be part Look of that. the big five, here are 15 most powerful African animals in the world. World records is to be believed. A silverback gorilla can not only lift up to 815 kilograms of dead weight, That's crazy, it can also bro. tear down large banana trees just to get the fruit. Sounds a little extreme, doesn't it? Imagine being that hungry. Or still, you would think an animal this large would be a huge meat eater. But you'd be wrong. Although they're nine times stronger than your average male human, the silverback predominantly eats plants. Can you imagine the largest primate on Earth sitting down to a generous helping and of they're smart too. a big bowl of steamed greens? I can't. The fact that this hefty beast is pretty much vegetarian is mind-boggling. Word. Some serious nutrition in plants. <laughs> Easily among the ten strongest animals in the world relative to their size and weight, the silverback shares a whopping 98% of its DNA with humans. They have both hands and feet, can walk upright, and their level of intelligence is highly complex. I literally to just said that they're it's smart. No wonder they capture our interest the way they do. I just can't imagine a human thundering through the forest, ripping out plants left, right, and center just to fill their stomachs. That, I think, can be a task left solely for the gorilla, don't you think? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe face when you're sleeping. That's nasty. Number 14. African Cape Buffalo. Now, we've all heard the old adage, a memory like an elephant. Well, it would seem the buffalo has a similar trait. Apparently, these large bovines don't forgive. In fact, if you ever mess with one, you should be very afraid, as they won't stop until they find you. And as we know, they really that smart. Isn't always nice. Back in the bygone era, the buffalo was part of the Big Five, a group that was considered the most dangerous animals to hunt in Africa and contained leopards, rhinos, elephants, and lions. During that time, the buffalo is believed to have killed more humans than any other animal. It comes as no surprise that when wounded, they become aggressive and angry. And who could blame them? Thirty-seven miles per hour and do a lot of damage with their horns. They are very robust, weighing anywhere up to one thousand kilograms, and will charge and trample anything standing in the way. Hunting websites have labeled them as Black Death because of their dangerous personality. But unfortunately for the buffalo, this makes but them look how scary the they look. By hunters determined to win the battle between man and beast. Number thirteen. The Spotted Hyena. Mm. It's often said that you shouldn't let the facts get in the way of a good story. They like dogs, The same bro. can be said when it comes to the Spotted Hyena's feeding habits. Many had them pegged as just a scavenger, a weak-willed, funny-looking character that just swooped in to clean up the leftovers. But apparently... They, they kind of like, what, like tigers in a way? Like cheetahs, but not as fast as them? Like, you know? Quite as accurate as once thought. Experts now so, so they go on packs. They're definitely like a dog Africa's family for sure, and wolves too. Carnivore. 
dangerous and an efficient, powerful predator. Their sloping features, ungainly walk, and high-pitched squeal have given them a reputation it no longer deserves. These formidable hunters oh, nah. pursue oh, their nah. prey in clans, running at an average of 60 kilometers per hour for up to 3 kilometers. Once considered to be part of the dog family, the hyena I is just now said that, bro. to be more cat-like, with certain traits confirming the possibility. They groom themselves often and scent mark their territory. Hey, look, imagine, Despite imagine having that as an animal. Like, how would you control it if they're naturally born in the wild? You know what I'm saying? How would you naturally train it and things like yeah, it's that? Also, a lot larger than you might Since think. Like, like they are dogs. One of the largest carnivores in Africa, second only to the African lion. They also have amazing bone-crushing teeth that can pulverize entire skeletons, including that of the wildebeest. The female is the larger and more dominant of the two sexes. How come she it's always like that? How come it is always more f like how come like in throughout the the animals, like how come it's how come the females are more stronger, more smarter, you know things like that? Comment down below. How come females are more Attractable than the, um, you know, males. Or muscular and definitely more aggressive. With and more aggressive too. How come? Generally bowing down to even the lowest ranking female. That must make for a very interesting social group structure. Number twelve, the leopard. An opportunistic like cheetahs, hunter, bro. the leopard was built with strength and speed in mind. It can run up to 50 oh kilometers my gosh. an hour and is so strong it can haul its kills up into a tree. That's These crazy. wild cats drag the bodies of large animals into the branches, hoping to keep them away from prying eyes and mouths. Imagine spending your whole afternoon chasing, catching, and killing your dinner, only to have it snatched by a hyena. It's understandable that the leopard doesn't want to take any chances. From their lofty position in the tree, they can also hunt. Their spotted coat is camouflaged amongst the leaves and is able to spy on unsuspecting prey, preparing itself to spring from the tree and pounce. A nocturnal predator, the leopard will also stalk antelope, deer, and pigs under the cover of long grass. They are also strong Look how fast so there are like, many dang. animals that are safe from the watchful gaze. So they're, so they're like cheetahs then, huh? Even it has to be because because their skin the co their skin it's complexion. Easy to imagine them licking their lips when they catch a glimpse of what essentially will be their next. Lions, so then the lions family. Number eleven, the African rhinoceros. If the giant spike on their head isn't a dead giveaway, I'm unsure what else could convince you to steer clear of these massive beasts. Solidly built and with the ability to wreak havoc if prompted, the African rhino is pretty intimidating. There are two species, the black rhino They're all and scary the white looking rhino. and mad the white big, rhino bro. Was once teetering on the brink of extinction, but numbers of both it and the black rhino have increased in recent years thanks to successful conservation efforts, particularly in South Africa. Both species remain at risk due to the increasing demand for illegal rhino horn. This yeah, like as you like not 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 thinking, bro, not nah, thinking about it, bro, like a lot of like dangerous animals are in, in those overseas countries because that's where they're you know are most found and, and things like that you know what i'm saying not really in the u.s in asia and many more countries are stepping up their efforts to save rhinos from being killed all in the name of keratin the horns are made up from the same types of protein that makes up hair and fingernails and people believe when ground up and eaten the dust from the horn has therapeutic properties. It is therefore very valuable. Poachers will do whatever it takes to secure these horns. They're funny looking, bro. Putting their lives in danger. And when you're dealing with an animal that has a body mass reaching or exceeding a ton, things can get pretty hairy. But hey, the poachers deserve what they get, don't you think? Number 10, the African lion. African lions populate sub-Saharan Africa, preferring to live on grassy plains and savannas rather than dense forests. The largest member of the cat family and considered the king of the so jungle, scary, bro. these ferocious felines are both strong and deadly. Considered the apex predator, the lion is one of the most widely recognized animal symbols in human culture. 
It features extensively throughout the globe in sculpture and paintings, on national flags, and in contemporary films and books. Ruthless yet majestic, the African lion is deeply admired, but usually from afar. And it's no wonder when an adult male can weigh over 400 pounds. That's crazy. They're not short either, measuring four feet tall at the shoulder. Lions are also social animals, so if you find one, there is likely to be several more just waiting to pounce. They are known to travel in packs called prides. This helps protect the older and younger members of the family from predators. Effectively nocturnal, the lion spends most of its life resting. Lucky thing. On average, these wild cats walk for two hours a day and That's eat for crazy, just bro. 50 minutes. Their life sounds but almost I, I, I... That's crazy, bro. Two hours a day, bro. That's crazy. Except for the fact they have to hunt for their food. That part wouldn't be so great. Number nine, African crowned eagle. Africa's most powerful eagles. Eagle. The crowned eagle might be strong, but it's not nearly as large as the martial eagle. Although officially the martial eagle measures up to 96 centimeters in length as opposed to the crowned eagle's 99 centimeters, it is the crowned eagle's longer tail that tips the balance. When it comes to wingspan, however, the martial eagle's is considerably bigger, measuring between 6 feet and over 7 feet. That's the crazy. crowned eagle's wingspan typically ranges from 4 feet 11 inches to 5 feet 11 inches. They have a... Fourteen years and mainly inhabit the trees and skies of sub-Saharan Africa in southern Africa. Described as a large bird of prey, the crowned eagle often prey on mammals such as bushbat. They are also known to search out small to medium-sized antelope, certain breeds of rabbit, and even monkeys. They very rarely kill and feed on birds and large lizards. For a bird that has an average body well, mass hey, of just bro, what? That's how big, bro. They're huge, bro. Kilograms. This is quite an impressive haul, given some of these animals weigh up to 30 kilograms. A ferocious winged giant, the eagle has unusually large talons They're and huge strong heck. legs, and may kill by crushing the skull of its victim. Number eight, baboons. Although preyed upon by leopards, baboons are known to be very aggressive and can launch a vicious counterattack when they feel threatened. Using their strong canines, they have the ability to literally tear aren't, aren't they aren't they like monkeys? Cause they look just like monkeys. Pull apart and won't back down without a fight. Dang. They've even clashed with humans on occasion, raiding houses and storerooms. Like monkeys, baboons are primates and vary in size and weight depending on their species. The smallest, the kind of baboon, measures approximately 50 centimeters in length and weighs just 14 kilograms. The larger of the species, the chakma, can reach heights of up to 120 centimeters and weigh 40 kilograms, the weight of an average teenager. <laughs> they have chilling. long, dog-like muzzles, heavy, powerful jaws with sharp canine teeth, and thick fur except for on their muzzles, tails, and bottoms. The lack of hair on their buttocks is further enhanced by... <coughs> Do um do animals like can animals sense by other animals? And let, let's say if it's a lion and uh a lion and a gorilla, you know what I'm saying? Can they sense like who's stronger or if that makes sense, like comment down below. Color. The area can turn red, making them some of the most identifiable monkeys in the world. These old world monkeys are only found in Africa and Arabia. They have generous tufts of hair on either side of their faces, but don't have prehensile tails like some other monkeys. This means they're unable to use their tail like a hand and can't grasp or hold objects with it. Baboons spend a lot of their time on the ground, but will retreat to a tree to sleep, eat, or keep watch. Number seven, Black Mamba. 
A species of large, extremely venomous snake, the black mamba is native to parts of sub-Saharan Africa. It is also the second longest venomous snake on the planet, generally measuring over three meters. Not only that, but this slippery character is highly aggressive and extremely fast. What a combination. These snakes can reach speeds of up to 12.5 miles per hour. Usain Bolt's record-breaking blending meter too. dash was 27.8 miles per hour, so that'll give you some idea of the speed of this thing. Us mere mortals wouldn't stand a chance. The Black Mamba is to blame for numerous human deaths, with an attack triggering a fast onset of life-threatening symptoms, including asphyxiation and cardiovascular collapse. If left untreated, the fatality rate is particularly sobering. So much so that the black mamba is now widely considered the world's deadliest snake. Its venom is so toxic that one bite contains enough toxins to kill 10 people. And don't be fooled by its That's color crazy. either. That's yet another sneaky trap. The black mamba isn't black. Instead, they range from an olive green shade to gray. The inside of their mouths, however, are a blue-black color. But that's a sight you only see when you're threatened, and trust me, by then it's probably too late for you. Unless, of course, you're Usain Bolt. Number 6. <laughs> the Great White Shark The ultimate predator of the sea, this huge shark was made famous on the big screen back in 1975 when we were introduced to Jaws. As the villain of the series, the real-life version of the That's shark gained a reputation what? for being a vicious predator. Why would you look, bro? It may not entirely deserve. Experts believe they're simply misunderstood, particularly when it comes to attacks on humans. They're not actually a mindless killing machine, but they do tend to attack first and ask questions later. They often attack their prey from below, and their mere size, speed, and weight means that whatever they grab hold of has almost no hope of surviving the impact. A lineup of 300 triangular serrated teeth also doesn't help. Okay, Sitting at the top of teeth. many people's most feared creatures list, the great white shark can grow to an average of four and a half meters in length. But there have been some monsters found that are much longer than that. It spends its days and nights trawling the coastal surface waters of all the major oceans and are capable of swimming at speeds of over 56 kilometers per hour. So if you think you can outswim one of these guys, you might like to think again. Number five. The Nile Crocodile. With a bite that can exert a force eight times more powerful than our ocean-dwelling friend, the Great White, the Nile Crocodile is extremely dangerous. They have the strongest bite in the animal kingdom, using powerful muscles to close their jaws down but and look around how, their that's prey. Crazy, their highly visible and razor-sharp teeth are also a valuable asset to these giant predators. Once locked inside their jaws, resistance is futile, and unfortunately for the trapped, death is almost always inevitable. These formidable semi-aquatic reptiles can snap. And you know what's what's crazy about them? Like they blend so well in the water, bro. Like it's hard for you to see them. You know what I'm saying? And they mostly like like sneaking around, so you know, they blend in the water. Sounds like twigs. They live in the tropics of Africa, bro, Asia, see, look the how Americas, blending and they, they look, bro. and shouldn't be argued with under any circumstances. In fact, if you come face to face with one, you best be prepared, because it might be the last thing you ever see. An adult Nile crocodile can measure up to 5 meters long and weigh anywhere up to 750 kilograms, That's so crazy, they're not bro. exactly small. They are also very aggressive and are capable of snatching almost any animal within their size range. They are ambush predators and show plenty of patience with their kills, happily waiting hours, days, or even weeks to be rewarded with a hearty meal. I'm not sure I could wait that long, could you? Let me go check the pizza in the oven. Number four, the African Elephant. The largest animal on Earth and also the biggest eater, the That's African crazy. elephant consumes as much as 600 pounds of food in a single day. But it's hardly That's surprising OD. given that they've got a pretty big body to fill. Their tusks alone can weigh up to 45 kilograms and their teeth 5 kilograms apiece. 
Slightly larger than their Asian cousins, the African elephant female can weigh almost 7,000 pounds and the male over 13,000. They are easily identified by their ears that look yeah, like the continent. That's what I mean, like 7,000 to 13,000, bro. That's crazy. That's a lot of weight, bro. That's crazy, bro. Africa. Asian elephant ears are smaller and rounder in comparison. Giant eating machines, African elephants play a key role in their ecosystem. They are capable of shaping their own habitat by using their tusks to dig up riverbeds and create watering holes other animals can drink from. By feasting on trees and shrubs in the forest, elephants are also able to create pathways for smaller animals to move through. In the savanna, they uproot trees and eat saplings, opening up the landscape for zebras and other animals to thrive. Their dung is also full of seeds. These seeds not only help with spreading plants across their environment, they also make a pretty awesome habitat for dung beetles, too. Number three, the hippopotamus, river horse. As we know, <laughs> looks can often be deceiving, and none more so than this semi-aquatic mammal. They might appear docile and friendly while bathing in water, but the hippo has a bit of a Jekyll and Hyde personality. One minute, they're happily wallowing in their natural habitat. The next, they're ready to crush any potential predator that gets too close. When you consider the average hippo weighs around 3,000 kilograms and is armed with the most powerful jaws of any mammal, you need to be extra careful. They can totally flatten anything in their path. In fact, there are actually more people killed each year by charging hippos than there are by shark attacks. Oh Easily gosh, recognized bro. by their large, barrel-shaped body, short legs, and enormous head, these mammals are considered the second largest land animal on the planet. Native to sub-Saharan Africa... But the they're, ma like, bro, like, they weigh that much, but they're mad slow, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? There's no way in heck you're that big and you mad fast, bro, no. That's the downfall about them, like, they move mad slow. It's mainly an herbivore, mostly eating the grass surrounding its habitat. In fact, in just one night, they can chow down on up to 35 kilograms of this stuff. They are often found in rivers, lakes, and mangrove swamps, where terrestrial males preside over groups of up to 30 females and young hippos. They warn rivals that they mean business by opening their mouths and displaying their huge teeth. Number two, rhino beetle. A large recurving horn sitting on the front of their head makes these beetles look very much like a rhino, but one significantly smaller than its namesake. That doesn't mean they're not as tough though. In fact, if you take into account their power to weight ratio, these guys have the four-legged variety beat easy. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, ounce for ounce, the rhinoceros beetle is the world's strongest animal. It can support 850 times its own body weight. I don't know about you, but I would seriously struggle to lift my own weight, and that's just singularly. The that's thought the of eyes multiplying at? that by 850 is utterly mind-boggling, and these characters are tiny. The rhino beetle is among the largest of beetles in the world and is a well-known site in gardens and on farms throughout South Africa, including the Western Cape. Although they are more than capable of doing the heavy lifting, in reality, these beetles don't actually carry heavy loads. They do, however, engage in regularly strenuous activity, plowing through forest litter to find food and lock horns with their rivals. Number 1. Honey Badger a close relative to the wolverine, it's no surprise that the honey badger has been labeled one of Africa's most ferocious animals. They're not very big, but what they lack in stature, they more than make up for in aggression, attacking lions and buffalo when threatened. And don't ever make the mistake of creeping up on one. Surprise attacks That's are That's crazy how they're, they're number one in... You know what I'm saying? Like, the most powerful Af African animals in the world. That's crazy how small they are, but they're really dangerous. Scorn, and they come out fighting. These little guys aren't scared of much, but they do have poor eyesight. If they have their noses in the ground and are completely oblivious to their surroundings, you can imagine the fright they might get they when like an skunks. intruder creeps up on them. Whether or not the intruder is friend or foe, the honey badger's first line of defense is to release a potent scent from its anal gland. 
skunks. Hmm? If that doesn't send predators, bro, that's a that's that's in a family of skunks. Running their <laughs> aggressive stance will. They stand at attention with their hackles raised and will viciously bite the attacker if they don't make a hasty retreat. They have a powerful bite and feed on a variety of foods, including eggs, fruit, honey, reptiles, insects, larvae, grubs, along with the occasional antelope calf, cheetah cub, or eagle chick. Some of the most powerful animals on the planet live in Africa. A mix of water dwellers and land lovers, these animals are not to be messed with under any circumstances. Whether you're taking a quick dip in the ocean, but yeah, man, like that's crazy, bro. That's really crazy. Comment down below what um comment down below um comment down below um what you guys thought thought about about this video. Comment down below what do you want me to react to next and I got y'all. I hope you enjoyed the vid. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new and also drop a comment. Like always say man and tap in. All my social media will be in the link in my description. Make sure to follow me, support me, and show love. Peace.